she's the right hand of Skeletor. This is Evil Lynn, the evil warrior goddess. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins, Evil Lynn, Evil Warrior Goddess, modern posing, retro play action figure. So I never had an Evil Lynn growing up. A friend of mine did, uh, but I never did. And in fact, just like when I reviewed Tila, I didn't have very many of the female action figures. Didn't have She-Ra. However, a close friend of mine had She-Ra, uh, didn't have Evil Lynn, didn't have Tila. So anyway, as you can see on the package, new for 20, you got the classic Masters of the Universe packaging there, comic book inside. That's a really nice image of Evil Lynn right there. Includes comic book, Evil Lynn wields frightening magic, making her both Skeletor's greatest ally and his worst enemy. So as you can see, she comes with a staff, Fire crystal ball into hand, or fit crystal ball into hand, sorry. Twist into powerful battle positions. So just like with the original Masters of the Universe action figures, uh, this is supposed to show action features. However, it's just, it really just shows posability. And then over here, we've got He-Man, we've got Tila, we got Man-at-Arms, Skeletor, Evil Lynn, and Beast Man. Now let's go and open up the package and take a look at Evil Lynn. So, as you can see, Evelyn pretty much has the same sculpt as Tila. In fact, at the end of this video, we'll go ahead and bring Tila in and compare the two. But until then, as you can see, she comes with her magic wand, which I feel should be longer. Uh, I want to say it was longer in the 2000X series. I can't remember if it was longer or not in the original series. But for articulation, um, unlike Tila, her headdress does not come off. So it's sculpted in there. But her head can turn side to side. And just like with Tila, there is hindrance from the collar and the chin. Uh, this side, not much. But going the other way, uh, I guess you can get it over it. But So the arms, there is no fly butterfly joint. Uh, but there is a ball joint and hinge here at the shoulder. Go all the way around and hinge out. Uh, hinge and ball joint at the elbow. Uh, it's pretty stiff. I don't want to risk it. Uh, hinge and ball joint at the uh, wrist. Uh, waist articulation here. Legs can go out that far. And go back that far. You got a bend at the knee and swivel. You got a swivel at the boot and a hinge and ankle rocker at the ankle. So for comparison, let's go ahead and bring in Tila. We'll go ahead and take her battle harness off though so you can see just how alike the two sculpts really are. As you can see there, they're almost identical, uh, aside from, I mean, mirror paint jobs, really. Uh, other than that, the only difference is, is the, are the heads. Um, everything else is pretty much identical. And now for further comparison, let's go ahead and bring in Shira from the toy line from a few years back. And as you can see, they display really well together. I really like it. Uh, furthermore, uh, I wanted to show you that Evil Lynn did come with the same exact comic as Tila and Man at Arms. So now I've got three copies of the same comic. And let's go a step further. If I can get Shira to stand, she's been sitting on the original Swift Wind for so long that uh, her legs aren't wanting to stay in place. So I was unable to get Shira to stand. Uh, however, let's go ahead and compare Evil Lynn 
to Skeletor from a few years back. The uh, Filmation style Skeletor that we got in the Vintage line. And they display really nice together. Uh, I, I, I really like the look of the... I like how the Master of the Universe Origins figures really match up in size and sculpt everything with the vintage uh, Master of the Universe Vintage and the Ma original Master of the Universe toy lines. You can really mix and match to display them. So anyway, there you have it, guys. This has been Master of the Universe Origins Evil Way. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.